In this screencast, I'm going to illustrate a simple workflow where I'm using some text and some images and I want to modify the text and modify the image. And I'm going to use the keyboard and the command line to do this and hopefully this screencast will show how easy it is to do that. So in my directory I've got uh, a text file and an R script. If I open the uh, R script for the text file first, I've got a description here of uh, some properties of sulfur and I want to change the spelling of sulfur from the pH spelling to the spelling using an F. And I could do this by going to each instance and changing it manually. Uh, however, that's not very efficient. So instead, because this is a text file, I'm going to create a command line script to edit the file. And I'm going to use sed to do this. So I'm going to create a sed script called replace and edit that. First command I'm going to put in is to change the spelling of sulfur. So that's my script, and all that does is we check replace this instance of sulfur with this instance of sulfur uh, across all lines in the file. So for now go to the command line, type sed edit in line, my script is replace and I want to change the file description.txt. So I run that script now, if I go back to my software description I can see that the file has changed so I load the changes in Vim and you can see that the spelling is now spelled with an F. However this only changed the instances of sulfur we can with the capital S and I want to change all spellings so here I've got lowercase so that's uh, simple to do I just go back to my said script and I just put an extra command to do lower case. So I can run that script again. Open the text, it's changed again. And now these spellings are corrected. However you might also notice that I have uh, derivative words like sulfate and sulfide. But of course I want to change these as well. So go back once more. And I'll just delete the endings of these words. Delete that. And delete that. Run that script one more time. Load it. And these chilling spellings are changed now. However, you could ask what's the point of this because you can do like simple changes like this in any text editor. But the advantage is I also have a script here which I'm using to plot an R script which I'm using to plot a relationship so I just run that R script I now have a, a postscript file with a result in so if I open that up you can see I've plotted a relationship between self levels and a resulting effect but as you can see here, sulfur is also spelt wrong there as well, so I want to change that too. So because this is a because my R script is also plain text, if I just show that to you now. This is also a plain text file, so I can run my said script on that too. So I just change that command. To edit all text and R files. So we go back to that, load it, that's changed, rerun my script. And then reload the image. That's changed as well. So that's basically it, and I hope the advantage. Uh, I hope to illustrate that the advantage of this is if I had hundreds of files in this directory, 
or maybe even just five or six, I could change all instances of the first spelling to the second spelling, spelling, and I could also do it any time I edit the files to make sure that sulfur is spelled consistently through all my images and text.